Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today I will discuss post transcriptional modification of messenger RNA By the process of transcription messenger RNA is formed from DNA From this messenger RNA protein molecule will be synthesized But before the synthesis of protein molecule from messenger RNA this messenger RNA undergo some modification the messenger RNA that is transcribed from DNA there are uh, some changes in the messenger RNA and that changes are called post transcriptional modification in prokaryotic cell there is no delay between transcription and translation because there is no definite nucleus as you know Prokaryotic cells are without nucleus. Messenger RNA is transcribed from DNA and without any delay, messenger RNA directly form protein by the process of translation. But in eukaryotic cell, as you know, there is a nucleus. Pre-messenger RNA, or you can say newly synthesized messenger RNA, has to be modified into functional messenger RNA. Because it contains non-coding region called introns that are to be removed. The first modification in the messenger RNA is uh, that it contains the messenger RNA of eukaryotic cell contains non-coding region that are called introns. These introns are to be removed. And the second one, transcription occur in nucleus and translation occur in cytoplasm. So messenger RNA will have to move from nucleus to cytoplasm. In this journey, messenger RNA may be attacked by some enzymes such as phosphatases and nucleases. So we will have to protect messenger RNA from the attack of these enzymes. There are two modifications in messenger RNA. First, introns are to be removed. The second, the RNA will be protected from the attack of enzymes such as phosphatases and nucleases. So, for protection from enzymes, a cap in the form of 7 methyl group which is linked to the 5 end of messenger RNA. A cap is uh, added to the messenger RNA at 5 prime end and the cap consists of 7 methyl group. The 7 methyl group work in the cap and it is added to the 5 prime end of messenger RNA. A small chain of 30 to 500 adenine nucleotide called poly A adenine adenine a tail of adenine is added to the 3 prime end of messenger RNA and it work in the tail. The tail consists of adenine nucleotide, so it is called poly A tail. So, cape and tail is added, and the purpose of this tail and cape is to protect messenger RNA from the attack of enzymes. It protects the messenger RNA from the attack of enzyme. This next modification is splicing. The removal of intron and maturation of uh, primary messenger RNA into secondary or functional messenger RNA, it is called splicing. The RNA contains non coated regions that are called introns. These introns are removed, so primary messenger RNA is converted into functional or uh, that is also called secondary messenger RNA. The removal of intron from primary messenger RNA, the process is called splicing. And this process is carried over by enzymes called spliceosomes that is a large RNA protein complex. Enzyme that is called spliceosomes which consists of large protein complex it carried out the splicing of messenger RNA. The splice exons. Messenger RNA consists of introns and exons. Introns are non-coding region and exons are the coding region. Non coated region introns are removed, so exons are uh, connected with each other with the help of RNA ligase enzyme. 
introns, non-coding region, exon, coding region, coding and non-coding region. What is meant by that? Coding means that, uh, as you know, messenger RNA will have to synthesize protein and protein consists of uh, amino acid. Coding region is the region of messenger RNA that determine the specific amino acid that will be used in the synthesis of protein. If the segment or the part of messenger RNA that determines the amino acid that are used in the synthesis of protein, that region of messenger RNA is called coding or we can say or it is called exon. The other region of messenger RNA that does not determine the specific amino acid that will be used in the synthesis of protein. That region of messenger RNA is called non-coding or that are called introns. By the process of splicing the introns, the non-coding region that don't determine any amino acid that are used in the protein synthesis. The introns are removed. The remaining exon, the coding re regions of messenger RNA are joined together with the help of RNA ligase enzyme. After splicing, messenger RNA only consists of coding region or exon and uh, when uh, non-coding region introns are removed, the messenger RNA now is called secondary or functional messenger RNA because it becomes functional, it contains only coding region. Now it will be determined which amino acid will be used in the formation of a protein. How does it occur? It is shown by a diagram. Look at this diagram. These are the introns and these are the exon. Intron are non-coding, exon are coding region. There will be addition of a cap. F5 region, the cap is added that is consists of 7 methyl group. This is the cap that is added and that is the poly A tail. Poly A tail is added at the 3 dash 3 prime end and 5 prime end cap is added that is called a 7 methyl group. The cap and tail is in order to protect messenger RNA from the attack of various enzymes. Now these are introns. This is the primary messenger RNA. In, a, in primary messenger RNA, you are uh, you can see that there are introns. These introns are removed, the light blue and the dark blue are represented exon. Now this messenger RNA consists of only exon and intron are removed. When exon are removed intron are removed and only exon now this messenger RNA is the secondary or functional messenger RNA. The secondary or functional messenger RNA consists of cap, there is the polyadenylation or you can say poly A tail and the second one the middle part is consists of the splicing the part uh, that is produced after splicing that consists of only exon. This is the post transcriptional changes in messenger RNA. After transcription changes, messenger RNA undergoes some changes. And what are these changes? Two things. Introns are removed. The second thing, cap and tail is added. When introns are removed and cap is tail and added, so primary RNA is converted into secondary or functional messenger RNA. These changes are called post-transcriptional changes. Now messenger RNA is ready that it can synthesize, it can you know, attach amino acid with each other to form protein. It's all about the post transcriptional modification in uh, RNA. Hoping you will have understand the concept of post transcriptional modification in messenger RNA. If you have any type of question or suggestion, your question and suggestion are always welcome. Thanks you all. Take care. Allah Hafiz.